What is up guys, today we're changing our mouse cursors and I will be showing you how you can change your cursors in a widget and when hovering over an object on your screen. Before we start, a massive thank you to all my Patreons for supporting and keeping the channel going. Okay, first, import whatever texture you want your mouse cursor to be. I'm just going to use a PNG of my logo. Next, we're going to right click in our content browser and create a widget. Call this mouse cursor and double click to open it up. We're going to drag in an image onto our canvas panel, set its alignment to negative 0.5 for both the X and the Y, then select your texture and size it appropriately. It's important to note that the point of selection is going to be slap bang in the middle of your canvas panel. This is why we give our image an offset as most mouse cursors will be a pointer pointing towards the top left corner. But if your image isn't pointing to the top left corner, just change the alignment until the point of your mouse cursor is in the middle of the screen. Okay, so that's the default cursor. Let's create another one. So back into our content browser, let's right click and duplicate our mouse cursor widget and call it grab cursor. Double click to open it up and change the texture over to a different texture. I'll just use this Acon default Unreal texture. Now let's hop into our project settings, type in cursor and under software cursors, add two new maps. For the first, let's select default and on the right, select our newly created mouse cursor widget. Then for our second, let's select grab hand and then select our grab cursor widget on the right. Now, if you want even more cursors, you can do exactly what we just did and then assign different actions to different cursors. Okay, so we've set up our cursors. Now, how do we swap between them? Well, we can do this either when we hover over a widget or when we trigger the change via an event. So I've pre-made myself a widget and all it is is a widget with a button inside it. Then in the level blueprint, I've added some nodes which will add the widget to the viewport and will show the mouse cursor. Just copy these nodes and use whatever widget you like for yours. So back in the widget, whenever you want your cursor to change, you simply select the item you want the change to occur on. Under behavior, select the drop down, tick the cursor checkbox and select the cursor you want it to change to. Now when we press play, when we hover our mouse over the widget, it will change to that cursor. Okay, now what about objects in your level? Well, let's select this staircase and let's convert it over to a blueprint. Now in the blueprint, make sure your object is blocking visibility. I'm just going to change this actor over to block all. Then in the event graph, I'm going to get the player controller, pull off this and enable mouse over events. I'd recommend enabling this in the player controller, but this will do for now. Then select your object, bring in a on begin cursor over node and a on end cursor over node. Now pull your player controller again and bring in a set current mouse cursor. Select the grab cursor and plug this into the on begin cursor over. Then select the set mouse cursor node, press control W to duplicate it and set this back to default. Plug this into your overlap end. Now, when you press play, when we overlap our actor, our cursor changes, as well as our cursor changing when we hover over our widget item. So guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. As always, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.